What up everyone? Welcome to another reaction and review video. Today we're going to take a look at Hong Kong Yesterday by Fan Ho. Fan Ho was a can Cantonese photographer who was really well known for his everyday street photography of Hong Kong in the 50s and 60s. And his photographs were really cinematic. He was a master of using light and using shadow. And this book was, it's hard to, he has three books, I think. and. Each and every one of them are pretty hard to get. I managed to get this one uh, from Themes and Projects, which is a group that's stationed in the Minnesota Street Projects in San Francisco. Shout out SF Bay Area. I lived there for a couple of years. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into it. This is the first time I ever filmed a reaction video. Sorry, this is the first time I ever filmed a photo book video, so I mean, we might have to speed through it because I kind of take some time on these photos instead of just be, instead of just recording them really quickly because uh, I switched up the style for those videos. But damn, I mean, like right away, the first photo, like, look at that. That is just look at the light like that shit is just beautiful. Yeah, I think a lot of these photos he shot. Um, with morning light or golden hour type, you know, sunset light. Oh, man, but look at the leading lines. Just really like good, beautiful, well-composed photos to look at. And Hong Kong back then, like this, these photos make me want to go to Hong Kong. They probably, it probably doesn't look like what it is now. Um, and I don't know if right now is a good time to go because all that, but... I mean, this, these photos really take you back to a time when, wow, like it was like this. This is crazy. It looks, just looks so cool. Like you can see the fog, the mist in the air. You can see the light piercing through the particles. It really, his photos and his use of shadow and light, not only, you know, for me, like bring my eyes attention to certain things like, oh my God, look at all these lines. Um, and how like everyone is just silhouetted. But yeah, they not only focus my attention, but these photos make me feel some type of vibe. Like they really build an atmosphere. Um, and honestly, like he ended up being a film director. And so I can like, just having that, knowing that link, you can already kind of tell like these photos feel like they're movie stills. At least to me, they feel like they could be their own movies. Yeah, look at it. I mean, oh man, these are one of my, he shot it, I think he shot in the same stairwell a bunch of times, but dang, dude, look at that light, the kid's reaction, the layering in this photo, just people doing things, eating, looking at newspapers, going about their day, the trolleys, yeah, man, Hong Kong. And I think he, I don't know if he did a lot of like dodging and burning, which is basically like, you know, exposing and underexposing, making parts of the picture brighter and choosing which parts to make darker. I don't know how much editing he did. There are some, uh, I think they confirmed or he even said that he did do a lot of um, editing. Some of his most famous works, one of them, uh, Light and Shadow with the lady on the wall we're going to see has that was edited but i mean does it matter like this composition this atmosphere look at all these people the, oh yeah this is the one approaching shadow sorry new photographer here um yeah man look at that just her she, she's looking down the light and the dark just perfectly cut in half what does it all really mean I mean, I don't know, to me it's like, and the title approaching shadow, like what dark parts of her life is she confronting? She's literally looking at the dark part of this scene. But yeah, I heard he just got it. This, the, backdrop, the background for this story was that he just got his friend to stand against this wall and then the shadow wasn't as dark. I don't even know if it was, the shadow basically wasn't as dark as this and then in the dark room, he made it even darker to really make it contrasty and, and punchy. 
I always I say punchy, but he just made it wanted to emphasize it. Dude, these kids running around. What is this to be a kid in Hong Kong back in that day? Dude, what? This fog, the smokes, the little boat with all these big boats. Evening. Yeah, wow. He also did like to do a lot of like cropping. Like you can see on this one, this left vertical strip and then like kind of closer to a square image and then now like a cinematic like pano or like 16 by nine type of feel like super wide. Um, I mean, he experimented a lot. Dude, look at the, sh the shadows casted by the people. I, I think this has to be the same stairwell. And dude, if you that's a great spot with all that light, keep using it. Again, creating that mood. Mist and fog create just some type of like atmosphere for me. And the silhouettes and the rim light, which is the light just kind of like on the border of those silhouettes just does something like just is so cool, so nice. What the heck? I don't even know what that is. Is that like a pier with scaffolding or like, I don't know. Dude, the water looks even mystic. The moon, man, and the way it's just like going down the middle. Again, using light to frame the child, the brooming, and then the expressions. I, I honestly don't know if I could have, I don't know if I would want to be a kid back then. Um, looks like a really just old country lifestyle. Look at these boats, man. Just so much water and people canoeing, rowing everywhere, using again, darkness as a frame. I think one thing I've noticed with a lot of the street photography from Fan Ho and Daido Moriyama and people I've been on is, I mean, like when they focus on people, they really show them doing things like in activities, like look, where are these people going? She's got a bag and a kid on her back. Really makes me feel like I'm in the scene and I'm like there and like, wow, I have an understanding of what it was like to be during that place in time. That's a shit ton of walks and pans and pots. Oh man, again, like what? And the really dark figure. I like the symmetry too, the lines. He was, I noticed he also, also likes to shoot at, he less of the right, but more of the, the left. Like he likes to shoot things at like, like a 45 angle. What the heck is going on? That I think has gotta be edited or something. But he likes to shoot at an angle and let the light hit from the side. Dang. The kid praying. A bunch of the expressions on these kids, man, they they just look older. They feel older than, than their age shows. Life. Life in Hong Kong. Dude, the way he uses light, no wonder they call him the master of light and shadow. The master. These beautiful photos. I noticed too, he really, with his cropping, uh, he manages to fill the frame up. Whether it's with, even this, the lines fill the frame most of these fill the frame, like the kid, the main character, and then the character on the side, like every, there's just everything, the board, like there's just every, there's just a lot of content filling up the frame. There's not a lot of like negative space unless it's intentional, like this photo, like the way the shadows frame the person in the middle, like that's super intentional. But otherwise, yeah, everything is filled and the borders are all nice, super cinematic. Legacy of a man. I can't even read that because I've been moving around a lot. I'm just like going in between places. So unfortunately I don't have the book with me. Um, but yeah, this is a genuine reaction video and early thoughts. I will probably take a closer look at Van Ho's work later. Right now I'm currently just um, still a lot of Daido Moyama, but uh, Ren Hong, um, 
and focused on that and kind of what I've been encountering every day. Just the, the works I've been, I've been looking at have been a lot about a certain topic, uh, which Fan Ho doesn't really touch upon, at least in this book. Uh, or any of it, I'm not sure about any of his works, but um, that topic you'll you'll find out about in the next video. So uh, hopefully I can get back to Fan Ho, but right now I'll have, I'll have to shelf his stuff for a little bit and get back to it, and give it a real deep dive. So hope you enjoy the video. And if you have any feedback or comments or your favorite photos or any other books to check out, et cetera, et cetera, leave a comment below and if you do like this video, actually like it, subscribe because it lets me know that this stuff is useful or fun or whatever. So it tells me like, hey, I should keep making this because people find some type of value in it. So that's it. Yep. Thanks. All right. Peace.